Hey everyone, it's Monique from NowYou'reCooking.ca. Today we're making cauliflower tots. These put a healthy spin on regular tater tots which are made from grated and deep fried potatoes. You'll need two medium heads of cauliflower, two large eggs, parmesan and mozzarella cheese, almond flour, for this recipe I added some chives but it's optional, and your spices, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, salt and ground black pepper. If you're using fresh cauliflower, you're going to have to steam it to soften it up. You could use frozen if you like, just prepare it the same way. And why am I doing this one at a time? There we go. Cover and let steam for about 10 minutes. You want to make sure that they're tender. Then you'll want to let cool slightly for a few more minutes until you can handle them in your hands. This recipe is so much easier with a food processor. I'm using my mini chopper, so I'll be doing these in batches. If you don't have a food processor, don't worry. Just use a regular old potato masher. You should be able to get your cauliflower in small enough pieces and tone up those arms like Angela Bassett. Even though you steamed it, the cauliflower is still going to have a lot of moisture. You don't want soggy tots, so use a heavy duty paper towel, cheesecloth, or sieve to get rid of the extra moisture. Cauliflower juice, anyone? In a large bowl, mix together your cheeses, the eggs, your almond flour, and any herbs or spices. Don't forget to add in your drained cauliflower. Obviously, if you have a food processor, you'll omit the last 30 seconds of this video because you could just mix everything up in there. Once you're happy with the consistency, it's time to shape up these bad boys and get them in the oven. Line a baking sheet and spray it with cooking oil. Then evenly scoop large tablespoons of the tot mixture onto the tray. In order to get these looking like the real tater tots, use the back of a spoon or your fingers to shape into cylinders. Mine came out looking like chicken nuggets, but it's all good. Bake in a preheated oven for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. If you're on the keto diet or just want to change up snack time by adding a healthier vegetable like cauliflower, these tots really hit the spot. You could serve these with a creamy dipping sauce, but I assure you these won't last long on the table. Thanks for watching this video. If there's another recipe that you would like me to try a keto version of, just leave a comment below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For the full recipe, check out my website at nowyourcooking.ca.